This video is brought to you by Envato Elements. Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how you can walk into computer screen. We'll recreate this perspective illusion step by step in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First of all, let's take a look at the original shots. To make things easier, everything was shot on a tripod. In this shot it's very important to get the perspective right. So put the laptop screen in the front, then walk to the back and just hide behind the screen. The part where I'm in the laptop was recorded separately on a green screen. Try to match the perspective and height of the camera as close as possible. Before we start editing, I want to thank to Envato Elements for making this video possible. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, water, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. And Vato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. Place the shots on the timeline. First the main shot and then the green screen shot on top of that. Create a mask and keep just the green screen area. Now to make the king a bit easier, first apply hue and saturation effect to the green screen shot. Select just the greens and increase the saturation. Then apply the key light effect and remove the green color. Also play around with the screen matte settings. Once you are happy with the king, choose intermediate result and apply advanced pill suppressor effect to remove the green spill. Next scale and position the green screen layer to match it with the original shot. Pay attention to the movement of the body and legs and try to match them. Also create a mask around the edge of the screen to keep just the part which should be visible inside the screen. Change the mask blending mode to subtract. As you can see the timing is still a bit off. So let's fix that. I duplicated the green screen layer and trimmed it to keep just a few frames with the leg. At the end of this duplicate I went to the original green screen layer and made a keyframe on the mask. I went one frame back and changed the mask to hide the leg on this layer. Then I went back to the duplicate and made a mask just around the leg. This way we have the leg only on a separate layer and we can change the speed without affecting the rest of the body. Now right click the layer, go to time and choose time stretch. Change the stretch factor to speed it up.
Now the green screen leg matches with the main shot. The second leg in the main shot moves a bit too slow. So cut out this part from the shot and speed it up. If you still see some problems, you can use the mesh warp effect to line up the layers better. And that's how you can walk into a laptop. Finally, you can add some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video.